So, und auf geht's jetzt zu Mister. Ich kann hell sehen. Äh, da war's ein Zimmer. Ja, so hier doch. I press the doorbell. And after a few seconds. Daddy. What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. Uh, how did you know about it? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? But uh, I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Akra told me herself that she asked Yakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Uh, well... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh, she gave it to me in person. And she happened to mention the others like in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura? No way. I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely it's suspicious. The last time I saw Akra was when Mina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. Well, I'm here. Could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero was feeling, ar uh, feeling around in his pockets. Ah, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back in out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Mm. Uh, ah. <laughs> quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Ma -ma. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? Uh, anyway, no, no, no. I can't deny that Orkra asked me to meet with uh, me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Ah, <sighs> Hero. Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hero. Um, what next? Uh, wie wär's mit dem Chemielabor? I definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So, where should I start? How about the chem lab? So, das war noch mal in welcher Etage ich das klappen? Headmaster's Room. Ach ja, da wurde das Ausrufezeichen ist klar. So, Camlab. Da sind wir. Makoto, did you have your eye on the Camlab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. Hm. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. Yeah, no sir, I don't understand. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like the three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's the powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. There is a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder, powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. <coughs> Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the first, fourth floor this morning checking things out and at that point this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. That's right. It could have only been around the time of the incident. If that really is what it ha when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Ah. On this shelf is... 
One look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. This looks like poison and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the set letter C and the number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. Uh -huh. So on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. <laughs> They are regions. Put simply, they are used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such an ignorance for so long? It must truly be a bliss. I isn't that kinda harsh? None. What? You think studying science and mathematics uh, has no practical application to in the real world? Neither. The words of a lifelong loser. Which, I suppose, suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section B. E. Hmm. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. Let's see what's on this shelf. There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers of this shelf are labeled with, uh, with the letter C, A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Huh? But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Did someone have put it in here on accident? I should try to find out more about this shelving unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has reagents and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from the section A. But what concerns me is that in section A there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on here. These are footprints. And they are only in front of the left shelf. <coughs> How do these footprints relate to the, to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? <laughs> How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Yum. Well, let's go. Chop chop. Okay, okay. So I got to work, and before long I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Um, so how is this? <laughs> Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? Not so, hard. when you look at this, at it like this. Interesting. It would appear that whoever left his footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. These footprints must be... Makoto. Are they yours? No! Okay then. Let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Biakuya said. <laughs> I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, B, I must admit, these are not your footprints. Unfortunately? <laughs> but with how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints are really a uh, really valu valuable clue. Yeah, then nimm it! Then nimm it als clue. Dann nimm halt nicht mit als clue.
First, I have to check out this area. Bedeutet immer, hier liegt noch irgendwo, gammelt noch irgendwo was rum, was ich gefunden habe. Okay, Powder, Powder, Powder. Ja, okay. There is a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. Footprint. I should probably take a good look, hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. Endlich krieg ich mein Beweis. Based on the posi positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Bia Kuya, the powder would have to have uh, would had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Oh, endlich! Ja, jetzt gehen wir mal in den in die Red Room. Gehen wir mal in die Red Room nochmal. Das war in Hier. Hier drei. So, das sind wir. Bei dem schön eingeschlagenen Fenster. Nee. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. So, along with Biakuya, they are both claiming they didn't go see, go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed ne new clues. You'd do well to go uh, to look them over one more time. That's okay. According to uh, Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just staring up in sp into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. W well, yeah, I know, but... No. Don't you think you might need uh, to ex actually examine the body? There's mm. no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Also, there are still some times... I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. So That's totally no normal. Then, how can you... So I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Nee. More importantly, look here. The shoes? So. You see that yellow powder, powder on her instep? Yeah really stands out. Yeah, the powder is clue number one. Ach, wie süß. Die hat sogar ihren Namen auf ihren Schüchen draufgeschrieben. Ah. Nee. Next is the wand to her head. Look carefully. So Actually, even telling you that isn't... It's incredibly difficult to spot. Do ja da. Hab ich vergessen zu lesen, so let me do it irgendwas. It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow. But instead received two blows to the head. Two blows? Yeah. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. So. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. So, so that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Okay. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko would could have pulled that off. So, dann sagte sie ja noch mal irgendwas mit den Flaschen. I think Yoko said she found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new. Something new. Hm. Nee. So, did you figure it out? There is a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you are sure to find it. A correlation. Hm. Hey, Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So I are. don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confi confidence in the outcome. 
And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Ah. No. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's, bo that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Tony Can you get up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? It's I've already reason. done it throughout investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Biakuya's not here, so... Yeah. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the class. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what, it I what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I'd better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work, collecting all the broken bottle pieces, uh, pieces. And just as I finished... Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? I got a scale from the chem lab. We are going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? A piece of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It will make sense when we are done. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. It's balanced. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figure inside are basically the same and nothing else could really affect the weight. Yeah. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on this on one side of the scale. Now, what uh, now what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they bal balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. Yeah. Okay, then let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? Yeah, buddy. Just as I thought. What? Yeah, the results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottle put it all together. Yeah. And I believe you will arrive to one very persuasive conclusion. So what uh, so what do you think? It's all on you. So und das Magazin helft hier nicht besser. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue clue Ach mal gut, du bist manchmal wirklich die dumm, oder? Huh? This magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back that way on accident? No. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. This is... On one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters. And it said, Toko. Could this be a dying message? So then it would appear you have found it. Yoko, is this? So it's indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. Dying message. Okay. But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might have come looking. Mm. Hey, is that... That says... Toko, right? I yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Then, she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can, I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Hello, 
Beweise besammeln. Und das innerhalb von eineinhalb Stunden. Ich bin stolz auf mich. Oh, ich werde alt. Ja, du kannst loslegen, Monokuma. Lad uns endlich ein. Okay, deine Freundin... Ist jetzt ein bisschen schwer, da was zu sagen. Frauen sind ein bisschen eigen, was sowas angeht. Und ich weiß das. Ich bin eine Frau. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever, hap whatever happens will have to happen at the Kleist trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Monokuma made his announcement and everyone began to meet up, one after another. And then... <laughs> the ultimate natural artist! A locked room murder mystery! None got there. <laughs> oh, I have just recently discovered the power of emoticons. Like... No matter how awful something is, if you toss a smiley face, it turns positive. For example, if you are at a picnic and you find a dead body. This is just plain creepy. Yeah. And how about the reverse? No matter how great something is, if you put it in a sad face, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Ich bin auch sehr kompliziert. Ich bin auch eine sehr komplizierte Frau. Ich kann schon verstehen, warum mein Ex nicht mehr Schluss gemacht hat. For example, do you have a hundred friends? Ah. Is right. But does, that does make it seem sad. Now then, please get on the elevator. I will see you all down there. <laughs> what the hell was that? <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? Uh, I don't think I'm acting casual. Uh, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? Whatever. <laughs> Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt, one of us is the culprit. Killer. The one that murdered Sakura. He was stronger than anyone I know. Yet, someone killed her. And that person is here? The person is one of us? wird nächsten Donnerstag eine... Das wird eine spannende Gerichtsverhandlung. Come on. It's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward, uh, toward the ele elevator. But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. 
We watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar clunking sound. It fell lower and lower. And as suddenly as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so you. You must be so lonely. You say it doesn't touch, touch me. You say that like it's not your fault. We are all that's left. I wonder, will the class trial end with one last classmate again, or? Oh yes, true life come to an end completely. Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seat. So the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly, a deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly fate. A deadly... Ja, wir möchten bitte speichern. Und ich weiß, dass ich hab's aber hier. So! Das war's für diesen Stream. Heute. Ich weiß, es ist wohl wahrscheinlich die Woche der kürzeste Stream, den ich abgehalten habe. Aber erstens, ich muss morgen wieder arbeiten. Heißt, so viel Zeit habe ich wenig. Zweitens, am Sonntag kommt auch nochmal ein Stream. Wie gesagt, das ist das vorletzte Mal diese Woche, die ich, dass ich streame. Und ja, danach geht es am Mittwoch und am Donnerstag weiter. Zwei Tage. Das sind meine zwei freien Tage, die ich nutzen kann. Ich danke wie immer fürs Zuschauen. Ich danke dir fürs Zuschauen, Mentas. Äh, ich bin sehr gefreut, dass ihr da seid, da wart. Ja, in diesem Sinne, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.